Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another weekly abductions. We are going to be doing the next three case files in the CIA uh, released documents. And we're going to start off with case file C0551562. So this one starts off with a WA site, Chicago 9337. And then the next section says support redacted from redacted RI. Dr. Leon Davidson. So Leon Davidson is back in this one as well. We are sending you a buck slip of a copy of Davidson's latest publication on space saucers entitled. And the title of it is The Air Force and the Saucers. So it looks like Davidson is back for another report in here. Very curious to see how many he is in. So the next part is note page 13 by 13, visits to the CIA office in Chicago. In this section, Davidson did not withhold redacted name because redacted asked him to. It's definitely getting real interesting. I don't have to say that. He didn't remember it enough to remember his name to misspell it. So this is, this is definitely an interesting part. See address clipped from the outer envelope. Um, quotation soundproof room was a convenient conference room on the first floor of the courthouse used by anyone that would like to go in there. Redacted did, in fact, promised to get Davidson the code translation and identification of the transmitter if possible, and in any case, we'll get back to him within a week or so. Redacted didn't ask him to keep the Chicago CIA location a secret. He advised him not to use his, the CIA letterhead in his forthcoming article without first clearing with the CIA authorities in Washington. The CIA's location never came up within the article. It was a sheer drama aimed for a story appeal. So this next part was a little confusing, but I'll try and say it a little bit better. But in a telephone call with Davidson, advised his next article um, was forwarded to the Pentagon to review then, but the article is not on the press yet. In fact, that Davidson redacted sentence, there was a big redacted sentence there, has been dealing with the CIA, but we're gonna be putting him in touch with redacted for further intermittable business. And we will be relieved of this chore. So the ending of this one is very interesting because like they were obviously, it seemed like in the past couple of articles, they've been trying to figure out what to do with Davidson either. I don't know. They were just trying to figure out something to do with Davidson. But now that they're, he seems to have reached out to the CIA at this point, And then they're hoping that they're not going to have to deal with this anymore. So it's definitely, it's definitely getting a little interesting with Davidson. So the next file is C0551563. The title and date are both redacted and then there's other parts on the page redacted. This one is actually really short, so I'm probably just gonna read you guys the whole thing. Um, there's a 102025, and I think it's a seven at the end of there. It's either a seven or a one um, site contacts slash New York, 1866, contacts Washington, RE case redacted word, and contact slash Washington, 75353, um, believe established ABNIC channel redacted. If we get into these routine film actions, it generally tends to confuse the harmonious redacted relationship of the film. Procurement more redacted spots on the rest of the page. Now this one was really short and just a very, seems like a filler file. <laughs> and we might talk about it more later. I might get some of the group involved and see what they think about it. If they're, if they're up for that is, you know, could see. Let's bring us to the third one, which is C0551564. 
starts off with ISENR34 routine C3B251929Z. Then it's redacted. Chicago site WA1699B redacted from support redacted. The DCI has received a letter from Leon Davidson, White Plains, New York, requesting information on the recording you received from a redacted sentence after that. Davidson refers to some correspondence he had with you and then asks for agency's cooperate, cooperation in learning what the code message revealed. The next part is he indicates that testified before the subcommittee of government information say that testing will display interest in this subject. We are getting copies of this testimony. Meanwhile, can you advise us how you are getting in correspondence and how he learned that the DCI was a proper reason to address his request to? Any background information you have on him will be welcome. So the end of this one makes it very interesting because as far as we knew is that they were kind of welcoming Davidson, but now it kind of seems like he's reached out to someone that is maybe not so obliged to help him. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in potentially the next upcoming files or at some point down the line, who knows when Davidson gets referred to. This wraps up this episode's three files that we're going to talk about. And let us know if you want us to dive deeper on Leon Davidson, because I know I'm very curious and I just might do it myself, but let us know if you want us to make a video about our findings on Dr. Leon Davidson and let us know how deep in the rabbit hole has he gone. Thank you for watching this episode of Weekly Abductions. If you want to see more Weekly Abductions, check the link up over here. If you want to see more by Cools Paranormal, check that link up over here. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. And switch that notification bell from personalized to all if you want to be notified on all of our videos. You guys all have a wonderful evening.